Hey guys, Jerry here. Welcome to another booze review. And today we've got this. Abelore 10 year whiskey. Now, I don't think I've tried this. It's a Highland single malt Scotch whiskey, 10 years old. It's a classic Speyside single malt matured in a combination of traditional oak and sherry oak casks for a minimum of 10 years, welcoming, vibrant and rewarding. That says, Abelore, established 1879, nestling in the heart of Speyside, is the village of Abelore, where a source of exceptionally pure spring water known as St. Droston's Well inspired James Fleming to build his distillery in 1879. The richness of the natural environment combined with the soft and pure water creates Abelore Single Malt, a distinctive whiskey of generous character. Colour, gold. Nose, the dry, fresh, fruity aromas of early autumn apples and pears are subtly enhanced with sweet notes of vanilla and mint toffee. Sounds delicious. Palate, exceptionally smooth and creamy, with spicy sweet nutmeg and honey combining with the freshness of autumn fruits. Finish, long, soft and warming. Oh. Let's have a look at the bottle itself. Yeah, it looks good. First impression. I, I like the label. It's like white and gold or cream and gold. Is it cream and gold? Could be a cream and gold label, I guess, or off-white. But yeah, it looks nice. Looks classic. Well, there's... What's this one say? Matured in a combination of hand-selected traditional and sherry oak casks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, of course. All right. Okay. Let's crack it open. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I hope if I take that off first one too. Getting a message. Now there's a pull here. This is quite handy. Ow, when it doesn't go right up your fingernail. Whoa! God damn it. There's like a little, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a triangle point and it just went right up my fingernail. Ow, ow. Ooh. There we go. Get that off. Does it smell of what it's supposed to smell? What's it say it smells of? Dry, fresh, fruity aromas of early autumn apples and pears, enhanced with sweet notes of vanilla and mint toffee. I can definitely smell the vanilla. <clears throat> Could be good. Let's get to glass. Uh, don't have my Jack Daniels one available. I've got this lovely little. Right. So let's remind ourselves the palette. Smooth and creamy with spicy sweet nutmeg and honey combined with freshness of autumn fruits. All right. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it is nice. Not the greatest whiskey I've had, but it is nice. I do get the nutmeg. 
I think nutmeg's the definitely the main taste in that palette. My palette, yeah, is picking up a lot of nutmeg. There is that creamy texture, especially at the back of the throat after swirling. Mm. Very nice. Not bad for the price either. I think, how much was it? I think I got this for less than 20 pounds actually. On offer. Yeah, I think it was something like I want to say about the £18 mark, which is like, I usually go for the bargains at the time, you know, the deals are usually there for like a week or two and then suddenly go back to a regular price to be like 20, well, like 7 or 8 quid or whatever it is, but yeah, mmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely the nutmeg. I'm not getting the freshness of autumn fruits. Honey's honey's something you get with whiskey anyway. But autumn fruits, which I'm guessing is the pear and stuff. But usually, when it tells you, oh, you're good to. You're going to get a nutmeg and cinnamon. <laughs> Usually, no, you don't get any of that. You just know, oh, it tastes like whiskey. I like whiskey. It's good whiskey. I'm satisfied. And being under £20 as well, I'm very satisfied. In fact, I'm more than satisfied. Yeah, this bottle. I approve of this bottle. I'm alone, you do good. Mm. Now you were probably expecting one of those ales in this review, but no, I haven't got enough uh, available carbs for them yet. I think they're about uh, 14 to 14 to 16 carbs, them two, each, and I can only have 30 in a day, so it's a bit difficult, oh my god, I cut myself open, opening the bottle, I don't know, I told you I'd straight up my fingernail, might lose points for that, might lose points for that, oh my goodness, I've got blood on my jeans, Ugh. I thought my hand was a bit sticky. I thought, did I get whiskey on it? But, um, yeah. So, can't do the ales yet. Um, but, yeah. If you haven't seen those videos, yeah. Last way in, I lost eight uh, quarter pounds. Really good. Um, I will say that preparing some of the meals, especially when doing like chicken and pork, some of the sauces are in keto, very similar. My girlfriend's getting very bored of me cooking and using like double cream and parmesan and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to find some other sauces, maybe, you know, it's like, can't really do tomato sauce too much because they're not very keto, are they, tomatoes? But it'd be, it'd be nice to find a sauce that I can have with a meat that doesn't just involve cream and parmesan plus blah, 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 all the ingredients like spinach and mushrooms and stuff. Just taking them in and out. When you've got the parmesan and cream, a lot of things taste pretty much the same. And that's what we're experiencing at the moment. So she's getting a bit bored of it already after a week. Oh, I'm two, week, two and a half weeks in now and... I can understand the frustration. And she's got other things to look forward to, believe me. 
have been constipated for a few days now. It's not great. <laughs> but overall, been a good week. Lost the weight. Got this lovely Avalor. I've uh, I bought I bought tickets to download despite coronavirus still being up there as a great threat. It's like the plague. 2.0 right now where i work hand sanitizing gel off sale completely we don't, we don't even get that on the shelf anymore no chance of that but we get about 100 people a day asking for it uh, toilet rolls have gone off sale every day <laughs> people are preparing for the worst it's like you've never had the fucking flu jesus christ like so many other things are out there uh, no one gives a shit Global warming, depression, suicide, all that. But, oh, no, the coronavirus. Let's deal with this bloody shitty coronavirus. That isn't really a threat at all. Come on. Let's see. I know there's vulnerable people that it can affect, but that's the flu for you. It, it can kill, but it's probably not going to do anything to you. Avoid large gatherings. Wash your fucking hands every now and then. If you sneeze, cover your fucking face. That's all you need to know. And the coronavirus will fucking disperse, okay? <sighs> but yeah. Cheers. I hope you all have a fantastic week. If I don't see you before Wednesday, then I've been lazy and... <laughs> or just haven't been able to find the time to record, but... At least I got this video in. Break up some of the other things. I could do an overrated albums, but I, I need to find the time to really put that together. But booze reviews are good. But I've got to remember the carbs. I'm counting the carbs for these. I've probably just had there's a carb in about 50 mils. How many have I had? About, is that the third one I've filled? So that could be about three carbs. Usually what I do, when in doubt, I just add extra. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Forgot that was it. Usually I just add extra. Then, Therefore, I can't go over and be like, I fucked it. So I'd rather go under than over. So I'll probably just throw in an extra couple of carbs. Yeah. Just to stop me from going overboard. I think I got about, I had about 12 carbs, I think, left over. So, minus three, so about nine, but I'll take a, I'll throw in an extra two, so I've got about seven carbs left, but I'm pretty much done for the day. It's quite late, and uh, I don't know, unless I have a yogurt or something, or some dark chocolate. There's not really much options for snacking on this keto diet, to be fair. So that's a bummer. If anyone's got anything that they could uh, suggest us buy whilst on the keto, that's like a snack. And obviously, if you know any sauces or anything that's good with like chicken and pork, because uh, my girlfriend doesn't eat beef, and that doesn't involve just double cream and bloody parmesan as the main ingredients, that would be, you know, fan fucking tastic. Anyway, I'm Geriatric. I really good drink, especially at this price. You know, it's not the greatest, but it, it does the bloody job. And it will leave you a bit injured when you open it. So, I, I, I can put that straight in and it will go into my bloodstream. And yeah, even better. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and, you know, look at this hair. Please help me. I, I need money to get a haircut and I, I need subscribers. So, spread the word. Peace.